Hey folks, King Meatball here, and today is a finally fresh new video. Like I said, I'd see you Thursday. I did say that. I'm sorry you guys are seeing this on Friday, but I am recording content this weekend. Do not fret. Alright. So now that I have your attention and you see this on my shirt, you're probably wondering what the hell is that? You did? So if you use context clues and cognitive thinking, you'd know it's my job name tag. I work at Casey's General Store. But yeah, I got a name tag. It's magnetic. And you guys saw the thumbnail. It's the Ultra Blue today. It makes me feel a chat feel like a Chad when I drink it. Let's get into it, shall we? So let's give it a three, two, and a one. That smells good, bro. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry about the, you know, the shitty lighting. I can only record at night now. My schedule takes up the daytime recording times. So from now on, it'll be recorded at night. But when I get a work schedule, I'm going to try and get Mondays and Wednesdays off, the days I record for videos, so I can do it during the day. But we'll see what happens, but as of now, for right now, videos will be recorded in the dark under my crappy headlight. But, it's, okay, it smells like Powerade, like Blue Powerade, you know what I'm talking about, Blue Powerade? Yeah, so Blue Powerade, let's go to Swig. Tastes like Powerade. It tastes like what blue Powerade with like extra flavoring syrup in it, so it's like stronger. And obviously the caffeine that kicks you in the balls when you drink it, right? And obviously with the signature Ultra Zero Sugar. This is good. This is good. Like, really decent good. Like, good good. Also, when I get paid... Not going to explain you guys my pay schedule, but I will order a Monster Online. I was going to review this one when I had it, but I forgot to. I'm going to order the Lewis Hamilton one online. Hopefully I can just get one. Hopefully I don't have to buy a pack of them. Because I'm not trying to drink 16 Lewis Hamiltons just for one review. But, either way. And my doctor has advised me to stop. Um, to cut that back on these. This is obviously a joke. For you guys, if you guys worry for me, that's a joke. This whole section's up on, is a bit. So my doctor told me I need to cut back on caffeine. You know what I said? I didn't say anything because I shot him. Watching his lifeless body squirm on the ground as it slowly loses blood. Either way, this is a pretty good monster, not gonna lie. No, 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 no. 
This lighting and the color shirt I'm wearing makes me think of the original video, the first one of Monster Review. Because I, it was around 11 when I recorded that one. But either way, let's take another big swig and start, and then rank this on a scale of one to ten for each category, and then the final rating. I'm obviously not chugging them anymore. Until I have a new cup, I'm not going to chug drinks. So I'm going to go drink this when I go play video games. Speaking of video games, as of now, there will be gaming content this year. I will drop some gaming content. Expect Dead by Daylight gameplay, Minecraft, and like Fortnite events or something like the live events or whatever. Content farm as of usual. But that is not right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the funny moments of 2022, or best moments. I put a lot of work into that. I had to scout through some of the videos. I had to like, I clipped some, but I have a pattern. So each video of the year that has a funny moment, I will keep in my camera roll and siphon out that little moment, put it in the funny moments cap cut thing that I have, save it. Or export it to a like a compressed, and I delete the original video that it was from. So there there will be a lot of funny moments for this next year. <clears throat> My goal is twenty minutes worth, and I had seven minutes worth this year, last year. So if my luck is good. And my friends and me and my, my friends and I are funny enough, we'll hit that goal again. Or we'll hit our goal this year. Hope you guys are enjoying 2023, and let's get on to this rating so I'm not stealing any more of your time. Because you probably want to go back to playing Binding of Isaac, Aaron. I know you're there. And I know that's what you're trying to do. Don't lie. Unless you aren't, and I just made you want to play the game after you're done watching this video on your YouTube days. That's cool. I like talking to viewers. <laughs> I have a meatball story time planned for next week. About my job, my first couple days. How I felt. And some stories. There will be Casey's stories for me to tell. But I am getting some... Little couple messages from Sock Wipers United, my Snapchat group chat. So I gotta get back to that. So, smell, 7 out of 10. Let's say for taste, 8 out of 10. And overall enjoyment, 9 out of 10. It's a solid one. It's really good. I definitely recommend if you can find it. it took me a while to find that. But either way, I have been your host, King Meatball, for Monster Review Season 2. I don't remember what episode I did last, so we'll assume it's Episode 8, so the finale will be cool this, this time. I forgot to cue the intro, so whenever it plays, it plays. If it doesn't play, it doesn't play, whatever. I don't give a shit. I really don't. That's for my editor to worry about. Sorry about that. I had to deal with something. Either way. Final rating. 8.5 out of 10. Not solid because it's not a whole number. And that is it. I've been your host King Meatball for Monster Review Season 2. And I will see you all in the next video. Cue my outro. Yes. Finally, I've done it.
Welcome back to another exclusive hit of After Hours. In this section, we're talking about my socials, what you can contact me. We do not care.